What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. It's your girl Bria. How's it going? How's your day going? It's a lovely Friday morning when I'm filming this. It is 10 16 a.m. And I just thought, you know, summer's right around the corner. Everyone's almost out of school. No, that has nothing to do with this video. But anyways, so today I thought I'd do a like life update kind of video. Like, um, finishing up school, taking more summer classes, um, you know, goals for the summer for me, um, things I have coming up this summer. So I just thought I'd spill this all into this video because I haven't filmed in a while and I'm sorry. Also, do not mind this terrible sunburn. Um, I got it from my boyfriend's college graduation. Now this is a constant reminder for me to wear sunscreen and I wasn't even wearing a v-neck and I got this burn from wearing a necklace. So if you guys want to continue watching this video I'd gladly appreciate it but make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below some things you have planned this summer and then let's get on with the video. Very excited about this one. All right but currently before we get into like the summer update video um this is like my favorite hairstyle lately. Um, I don't know why, um, but it's just a half up, half down with a scrunchie. I don't know. I've been doing it almost every day this week, so this is fun. All right, so let's get down to business. Uh, the first thing, I have my handy dandy computer over there, and it has um, my notes that I have for this video that I just played out. Um, so first thing that I wanted to talk about is that I finished up my sophomore year of college. I am halfway done at my college career which is kind of crazy, didn't think, well, I didn't really want to go to college, so um, I'm glad I've made it this far. Um, I made Dean's List this semester too, so your girl was studying hard, and she was getting good grades, and she made Dean's List, so that's a great accomplishment. Um, like I said, I'm taking two more online classes, um, which has helped me get to junior year. Um, I am taking World Lit, and World Lit 1 and creative nonfiction writing to help with my minor, which is what I'm talking about today. Um, I'm adding a professional writing minor to my degree and rumors have it, ru rumor has it, that's what the saying is. Um, my major name is changing, so I'll have like a, to not a totally different degree, but I'll have a different name for my degree which will be very exciting and I'm very excited. Um, but going back to like um, junior year of college, it was rough. It was really rough for me. I really don't know why. Um, I think it was, um, my theory is like, it's kind of getting real. Um, and most of my classes, they've been talking about like internships and like post-grad stuff like going to graduate school and stuff like that um if you want a whole school q a let me know down below um, i'd gladly answer it gladly answer any of your questions you have about college um but it's so like real like it's happening like i'm gonna be 22 when i graduate college and then i'm supposed to have my whole life figured out like that does not happen um so it's kind of like throwing you into like, okay, here you go. Get your career started, make a shiz ton of money. Like, nah, it does not happen like that. Most college internships are actually unpaid. So it's very rare that you actually get paid for your internship to complete your degree, which I think is crap. So anyways, um, yeah, so junior year was, uh, Sophomore year was really tough for me. Um, like I said, I just think it's all becoming real. Like like I said, I'm a junior. I literally have two years of college left. Um, and a lot of things have, especially the spring semester, like have happened. Like my boyfriend's dad was in the hospital for three months. Um, he's still slowly recovering at home. Um, he, my boyfriend also got really like hurt pretty badly um, last month with the knee injury, which is never good. So I think just like everything happened so fast, especially at the end of the semester that I was like, whoa, like I can barely like focus on my grades. Like I really, really was having a tough time like focusing on any everything. Um, but your girl pulled through. 
you know, she had the dance club show in April. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, I'd get copyrighted for literally everything, so that's why I didn't film any of it. I totally would have, but I didn't because I definitely would have gotten copyrighted. But I really, really enjoy dancing. Like, I'm definitely taking more classes this year. I told myself this next junior year, well, my junior year, I'm going to take at least three, maybe four classes. Something totally different than I've taken last year. Like, no, probably no hip-hop. I did two hip-hop classes this semester. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll vlog. I'm definitely going to do more Week in My Life college edition videos. I really like filming them. I think it's cool to get a college insight. Or just want to see what it's like at different universities. Because I love co watching College Week in My Life. Especially Danielle Carolyn's. I'll link. I'll maybe link a couple of hers down below. But just like college week in my life's in general are so much fun. Or just week in life's in general. Um, I love them really nosy and I like to see what people are doing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my school rant. Um, now on to like summer jam things. So. <laughs> Alright, so summer. I'm so excited. I'm ready for it. Like I said, spring semester was stressful as shiz. But we're back at it with summer. So. I have two concerts coming up this summer, and I'm ready. I'm so ready. Um, Kiss concert is the 16th. Jonah from My Don't We's birthday. He's 21. It's going to be lit. Um, also, Jonas Brothers. I'm seeing the Jonas Brothers for the first time in my life. Been a fan from them since I was like 10 years old, 9 years old around there. So your girl is living for it. I'm ready. So excited. I'm probably going to vlog that, but let me know if you want it. Um, also, I see Why Don't We in August, again, like I talked about, I think I talked about that in my Why Don't We vlog, I'm not really sure, don't really remember, but your girl's going again, and I am freaking excited, I'm vlogging that too, I'm ready, I'm ready, um, what else is coming up? Oh, in like, I think two weeks or so, um, I'm going to a Red Sox game with my boyfriend, um, where they're playing the Chicago White Sox. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for big summer things. Like, um, obviously I'm still working at my job, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, I might be going on a family vacation. I don't really know yet. Oh, we might go, we might not go. We don't really know yet. Um, but if anything, it's probably going up to Maine, which I love Maine. Maine is the best. Beautiful beaches, so much to do. It's just relaxing up there and I love it. Um, there are also a couple goals that I have for myself. Um, definitely do want to start getting fit. There's nothing more exciting than going back to school in the fall, feeling your best and being that biatch and like just strutting your stuff and feeling confident in yourself i've always i've had some sort of confidence in myself not like full on confidence obviously because i've grown up pretty overweight my whole life and then i got super sick junior year of high school so like it's rough because i've i lost a shiz ton of weight and then it pretty much almost all came back. Not all came back, but I obviously, like, eat less because my stomach is still not feeling great for my whatever I had. Um, but there's nothing more empowering than you starting off your school year bomb and looking bomb and feeling fan-freaking-tastic about yourself. Just walking into any room and being like, I'm the shit, like, ooh, look at me. I'm killing it, you know? Um, and then I also really do want to start eating healthier. Everybody has those goals for summer. Blah, blah, blah. I know. But, listen. Okay? I'm doing it for myself. And that's a huge thing, too. I'm doing this for myself. And I'm not doing this for anybody else but me. There's a huge, huge, huge difference of doing all this stuff for other people because you want to impress them but it is so much more worth it 
to do it for yourself because then you'll feel proud of yourself and again you'll want to exuberate it you'll want to be like bam i did that boom your girl's healthy she's living a healthy lifestyle she's killing the game and yeah that was all really cringy and i'm very very sorry but i just feel like it's super important to know obviously girl don't take any fitness advice from me i am not the skinniest but again i'm like i said i'm not really comfortable with myself but once i get there your girl mm -mm, it is over for everybody else I'm just kidding but your girl is gonna kill it you're gonna kill it this summer whatever you're doing whether you're working whether you're partying whether you're studying whether you're i don't know what you do in your free time during the summer uh, but you're gonna kill it i've been up since 6 10 this morning because i wanted to try and win concert tickets but that didn't happen so you know it's whatever but your girl's tired <laughs> i'm tired but i've got my coffee killing the game and that's the end of this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it sorry if it was just like all blabbly and stuff but give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any summer plans anything you got i'm gonna be reading and responding to comments and this video will probably be up later today and i'm very excited because your girl's got so much free time it's ready it's all good anyways subscribe down below i don't know what side it's on still probably will never know what side it's on but and also ring the bell so you notify when i'm uploading this video anyways